Welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we're sharing a dining review of Flying Fish, a signature restaurant located on the Disney World Boardwalk. This restaurant is open for dinner and has a warm and welcoming environment with dark wood accents and beautiful crystal chandeliers that add to the elegant and luxurious dining experience. Although they're known for their gourmet seafood options, Flying Fish also has oak grilled steaks and an extensive wine list as well as signature cocktails and seasonal desserts. Reservations are highly recommended and we recommend booking at least 60 days in advance. As a fine dining location, they also have a dress code, so be sure to check out the website in the description below for more details. If you're new to our channel, thanks for joining us today. If you like what you see, we welcome you to come and visit our channel for more dining reviews like this around Disney World. We'd love to hear from you, so let us know in the comments below if you're planning a visit to this restaurant or share with us your experiences at Flying Fish. We hope you enjoy coming along with us today. Hello friends, tonight we are at Flying Fish. This is a signature restaurant here at the Disney's Boardwalk, um, right next to the Disney Boardwalk Villas and Boardwalk Inn. Um, so this has been on our list of places to try for quite a while now, so we are so excited uh, to visit here this week. We are celebrating our 15th wedding anniversary, so what better, what better occasion than to come to the, the Flying Fish restaurant? They're really well known, of course, for their seafood. Um, they have extensive wine list, and they also have cocktails and wine and beer. Tonight we're enjoying a couple of glasses of wine. Uh, I've got a Pinot Noir and Dave got a Chardonnay. Uh, kind of looked ahead at the menu. It's got a nice variety of appetizers and entrees and then enhancements that you can add to your meal as well. So excited to try, to try some of these out. Look right above the table, running down the center, center of the restaurant are the flying fish, like little hanging glass sculptures. Really cool. And there's bubbles. And bubbles, yeah. And blown glass. It's really pretty. Really pretty with the lights on it at night. And then there's more like bubbles singing from the ceiling. From the like blue ceiling over here. It's very modern, but very, mm -hmm. I don't know, well done. Very modern, but elegant. This in here. <laughs> Gonna go. Gonna go. Hand towel. Mm -hmm. It's a magic towel. It's a magic towel. For, for cleaning your hands before your meal. Kind of nice, nice touch. They have that. Look at that. Opens all the way up with a nice little towel. Clean your hands. <laughs> The menu at this restaurant has a nice variety of appetizers, entrees, enhancements, and desserts. Appetizers include the lobster bisque, Prince Edward Island mussels, slow roasted pork belly, shrimp cocktail, green salad, tasting of artisan cheeses, or the oak grilled romaine salad. Entrees include salmon, a filet mignon, seafood pearl pasta, a char crusted New York strip, seared scallops, a red snapper, organic chicken, or roasted tofu. You can also add additional enhancements to your meal, including sauteed shrimp, lobster tail, scallops, or grilled octopus. Desserts include the cocoa breech, the creamy goat cheesecake, 50th anniversary celebration midnight lemon, the key lime cake, or a tasting of artisan cheeses. Kids' meals include the chicken noodle soup or salad for appetizers, and the salmon, red snapper, chicken breast, pasta, or grilled steak for the entrees with a choice of two sides and a drink. They also have a large wine list, as well as specialty cocktails and coffee. So we've got some bread service to our table, and a basket of some warm, warm uh, bread. So yeah, I think you said this is a potato chai bread. Potato chai is what you said. Yeah. So it smells, it almost smells like a sourdough a little bit. So see how it tastes. we got some nice butter here with some black sea salt. Really has a nice outer, outer crust on the sh on the bread. Nice crispy crust and warm and warm and sweet and soft in the center. It's good. Yeah, so we got the artisan cheese plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this would be nice to go with our wines at the beginning of our meal. 
So it has a nice fry. We have cheeses here. So we got one, two, three, five cheeses to try and some kind of a, some accompaniments. So starting here, we have the Brilat Severin. So this is a soft crusted cheese with pasteurized palace milk. It's a French, uh, French preparation. <laughs> Oh, named after French gourmet Jean Brilat Severin, famous for his quote, tell me what you eat and I will tell you who you are. <laughs> so this is, cheese comes from Normandy and aged for one to two weeks. There you go. Next we have a Gouda. So this is ripe, ripened for two years in the microclimate of Ward in Holland. Two year old cheese. Two year old cheese there. So we have the Tomé. This is from Thomasville Tomei, a raw grass-based cow's milk cheese made in this, this kind of has a more buttery characteristics with a high butter fat milk that's used. Very neat. This is the Cypress Grove Truffle Tremor. So this is an artisanal cheese um, produced out of California. So this is made from a ripened goat's milk cheese. So very, it says earthy, elegant, and sophisticated. And then lastly, we have the Roe Creamery Smoky Oregon Blue Cheese. So this is made on the West Coast and very smoky. It says cold smoked for 16 hours with Northwest grown hazelnut shells. So it said it should have some notes of caramel and hazelnut. I'm trying the soft cheese first. It's very soft. This one's aged one to two weeks. Of a brie or a camembert. Nice cheese. Then they did give us some kind of accompaniment here. You have some little baguette, you have some honeycomb, maybe some like raspberry puree here, and it looks like a, some kind of a nut brittle. Yeah. Just a little appetizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice to go with our wine. The good is going to be hard. That's going to be a hard one. Mm. That's a nice rich cheese. That's the one that's been aged for two years. You can taste it. So, so flavorful. Mm. I like that one. It's a firmer one too. Mm. It's softer than the Gouda. Mm. More buttery. I like that one too. So that's a cow's milk cheese. That one's nice. That one, I think that would pair really well with about anything. Ooh, look at this one. Soft. This one is the truffle. Anything with truffle is going to be very potent. No, but that's nice. Yeah, you can definitely taste the truffle. And very soft. So good cheese. That's mm, very earthy. Oh, that's good though. I like that with the baguette. You're going to go with the cheese. I'm just gonna try these on their own first just to taste the cheeses. <laughs> and then I'll start pairing them. <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. I, I typically like blue cheese though. It's got a nice you know, tartness, sharpness to it. Kind of a tang to it. Yeah, I like that one too. I think my favorites are actually the Gouda and the Blue. Both very, very good. But yeah, nice to pair them and kind of mix and match with the different accompaniments and try them with your wine. That's one of my favorite things to get is a cheese plate. It's nice to start your meal. So we finished our appetizers. The cheese plate was really, really good. I recommend that. That was really nice. I enjoyed the bread service. Give you a nice amount of bread and butter to kind of kind of start your meal. Your meal. Um, really enjoyed that. Recommend that. They also had some some they had shrimp and we thought we thought about doing the you have a shrimp cocktail or they also have a pork belly that looks really good too as well. So yeah, I recommend the cheese plate if you like trying different kinds of cheeses. That one's a fun one. Um, also wanted to show show how they have these cute cutlery here. Also, all of your silverware is got these scales like fish. So all of like, and then they give you a nice knife for your, if you're having meat, have the forks, have <laughs> the scales, <laughs> looking like a fish. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> so our entrees have arrived. So this is the filet mignon. So served with asparagus. So you can see a couple of spears of asparagus down here. We also have a sweet onion risotto. We have a risotto down here. And then a truffle sauce. See all this beautiful sauce. Gorgeous presentation here. Just, just looks not buttering good. <laughs> and that makes me 
so excited to try this. So let's dig in. Oh, already just cutting super, super tender. Perfectly cooked, medium, like I asked for. That just like, didn't even need this knife. Like that just came right off. Oh my goodness. Wow. Then we get a little bit of the risotto, a little bit of the truffle sauce. Perfectly cooked. Very, very tender. It's a nice, it has a nice, it has a nice almost crust on here. A nice sear on there it's on the outside. I got that kind of corner and it was like a just some wonderful toastedness to it. Well I'm gonna try the risotto now by itself. I don't know, I'm not getting I'm not really getting the caramelized onion flavor. Maybe maybe when I kind of pair it with the sauce. Hmm. The risotto is very good with the sauce. Mm. Perfectly cooked on the asparagus. Still has a nice, nice crispness to it. Yeah. No, yeah, overall, beautiful dish. The filet is the star by far, though. Dave, what do you have here? So these are the seared scallops. Yeah. So a bunch of seared scallops. Beautiful. So it comes with savory grits, sweet corn, and this is called a pepadou emulsion. Very nice. That grits, base of grits looks really good. And you get what, five? Five scallops. Five scallops. He asked me how I wanted to cook, so the recommendation is medium. So that's, okay. that's what I went with. <laughs> Dave loves scallops. I do. Very soft. I'll try one of these just pretty much on its own. For... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Perfectly cooked. That is perfect. Nice here. <laughs> just the perfect texture. Silky. Oh, yeah. Not fishy at all. Just fresh, delicious. Yeah. Try it with some of that grits. Yeah, the grits and the corn slaw corn. looks really, really good. Mm. That's wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, this gives it's got a little, a little bit of spiciness. There's a little bit of heat in the grits. The grits. Okay. Sweetness from the corn slaw, of course, and the yeah. savory, super creamy grits. Mm -hmm. And just pairs really, really nicely with those scallops. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm close I mean, so As you expect from a, you know, this is a highly, high reputation seafood restaurant. Yeah. These scallops are perfect. And I'm so happy that it holds up to the reputation and that's excellently prepared. Wonderful. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's Dave in his happy face. Happy place. <laughs> Sam's gonna try the scallops. Dave always wants to see what I right. Wonderful. Okay. Got some heat. Heat comes a little bit later. Yeah. Oh wonderful rounded heat to it. Mm. But the corn gives it that little pops of sweetness and texture. The oh, the scallops are silky smooth and beautifully cooked. Yeah, that one's got a little bit of like roasted red pepper, almost like roasted red pepper heat to it. It's really nice. That's really good. <laughs> what did What did you think of the filet, though? Mm -hmm. I like Dave just tried a bite of mine. What did you think? That was an excellent filet. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it's up there. I know. It's tough. They brought us out a little <laughs> special dessert for our anniversary. Very nice yeah, touch. That's so sweet. It looks like a look, maybe like a little chocolate mousse and some little little crisp curls and maybe some cake here and then like a chocolate piece of chocolate that has happy anniversary. That's just so sweet. That just takes it to the next level when places do something special when you're celebrating a special occasion. When we checked in um, on the on the mobile app, you can indicate if you're celebrating a special occasion, an anniversary, or a birthday, or something like that. And they did ask us whenever we checked in if we were celebrating a special occasion. We said yes, it was our anniversary. Um, and, and so, so then, then they brought this out at the end of our meal. So, so kind, so sweet. Dessert has arrived. Mm -hmm. so this is beautiful. My goodness, this is the, called the key lime cake. So it has a coconut lime mousse, guava, and tropical coulis. Um, and says this is a plant. This is actually a plant-based option too. So very, so very, very beautiful presentation on that. It's got this beautiful sugar, sugar candy here on top. 
These look like they might be blueberries or something. We'll see. <laughs> Get in here and take a bite. Oh, super soft. Okay. So you can see like the little flecks of lime in there. Definitely get the hint of coconut. Definitely get the tropical, the tropical flavors like the guava. I really taste that, which I love that. Um, and you just taste a little hint of, I feel like you just get the little hint of lime and lime zest. Um, but it's more, I don't know, it's not it's not overpowering at all. If you're, if you're maybe not a big key lime fan, I think you might still like this because it's more tropical notes and then the hint of like lemon zest or lime zest. I think Dave, I know Dave's not a big key lime fan. I think you're gonna I think you might like this one, Dave. <laughs> we'll see. I'm okay with it. You're okay with it. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I don't like key lime at all. He doesn't like key lime pie. This still wouldn't be my preferred dessert. Yeah. But I, does it taste more tropical though? Do you taste the yeah, guava? Like and... a, kinda, I, I really taste the guava. Yeah, I like that. It's good. It's a, it's a good quality, <laughs> but it's just not my thing. Yeah. It's still not my thing. It's just not as much your thing. Yeah. I I really enjoy it. It's really be really beautiful, but also very tasty and nice and light portion. So it's not not too heavy of a dessert to, for the end of your meal. wanted to share with you guys a recap from our experience at Flying Fish tonight. So what what were your thoughts, Dave? What what what'd you think? Uh, it was I mean it was a very good reputation, definitely mm -hmm. a signature dining, um, yes. and it did not disappoint. It yeah. was it was excellent. We've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. We'd heard very good things about it. It just recently came back. Um, and so that just we've heard such wonderful things about it. It's been on our kind of our dining to-do list for quite some time. So we were we had we set the bar pretty high kind of in our expectations and they definitely definitely met the expectations. They did a great job. Um, I'd say from our from our throughout our meal, we enjoyed all of our dishes. Um, we tried some good wines. We really enjoyed that cheese board. That cheese yeah. board was delicious. Nice had a nice variety of different kinds of cheeses and accompaniments to go with it, uh, to go along with our wine. Highly recommend that cheese board. It was delicious if you like trying different kinds of yeah, cheeses. Yeah, like that kind of thing. like not, that kind of thing. It's not a huge cheese board. It's meant mm -hmm. to be just kind of a lighter appetizer, but yeah. everything had good flavor. Yeah. yeah, so if you like that kind of thing, it might be up your alley. Um, okay, so for my filet, uh, it was it was very very it's perfectly cooked. They did, did an excellent job with it. Uh, one of my one of my you know top maybe favorite fillets that I've had at Disney, but not my favorite. Um, so it, it it was really really good, but didn't quite didn't quite make the top three. So but a very very good job. I think the only thing that that maybe knocked it down a few notches for me was the fact that it was it was on a bed of risotto, and then it was on that au jus kind of truffle sauce, and which was really rich and buttery and delicious. But it kind of made the whole dish kind of one note. It just made everything, everything tasted like that buttery truffle sauce. And so if you like more complexity of flavors in your dishes, which I tend to, I like to have, you know, a variety of kind of flavors to enjoy in my dish, um, then maybe it's not, maybe it wasn't quite my favorite. Because everything was kind of just that, that very rich buttery yeah. flavor. Okay. So, um, yeah, but that's who I think, like, otherwise they did a great job, perfectly prepared. Um, what did you think of your scallops, though? My scallops in our hand were probably yeah. the best I've ever yeah. had. Yeah, they were fantastic. They were so exactly it, what you described, is there was yeah. complexity of flavor, because it had that yeah. little bit of spiciness oh. in the sauce, and then it had the creaminess of the grits, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. it had the corn slaw, which gave oh. it some sweetness, that sweet and spicy flavor. Yeah, sweet and, and then spicy the, and pops of flavor. Yeah, and, and the scallops were just perfectly oh. cooked. Yeah, no, I agree. Those were maybe some of the best scallops I've ever, we've ever had. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, you're going to a seafood place. This is flying fish. This yeah, is, they're known sure. for their seafood. So that just kind of tells me like, okay, next time I go there, I think I want to order some seafood because I was just like, the steak wasn't just like, it was great, but it just wasn't the best thing. Like I, I had order envy because I wished I had had seafood like Dave. 
<laughs> yeah, so what do you think of the dessert? Yeah, so so the, so they had a kind of a twist on a key lime pie. Instead, it was key lime cake. So uh, it was actually pretty good. I thought that it was it was nice, and I, I almost thought like Dave doesn't really care for key lime pie, but I thought oh maybe he'll like this because it's not so much like tart 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 in your face. Uh, I thought they did a good job of it. The key lime cake was 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 maybe not as like tart tart make you pucker. It was it still had a nice citrus flavor. Uh, they had a nice mousse on top. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. Maybe not my favorite dessert, you know, that I've had, um, but it was very, very good and enjoyed it. Kind of a nice, nice end of the meal. And it was, it was a small, small dessert too. So that when you're really full like that and you don't want a lot to eat, that was a nice one. I think maybe next time I would have maybe ordered the, one of the chocolate desserts or something else maybe, but it was, it was really pretty and had beautiful presentation. So they did a good job on it. Oh, just yeah. maybe it wasn't every, my every, favorite, favorite so thing. I mean, everything was presented. Oh yeah, the beautiful, just gorgeous, gorgeous presentation on everything. They they really spend a lot of time and attention on, on presentation the plating, there. Yeah. The plating and, and service was, was very good. Our, our server was very attentive, took good care of us. Um, yeah, yeah, no complaints there. They were doing a good job. Um, yeah, we, we were really pleased overall. Had a really good experience at Flying Fish. Yeah. Recommend it, highly recommend it if you're celebrating a special occasion. It is a, it is a more expensive, uh, definitely, signature, definitely dining. signature dining. More expensive option when you're at Disney World. One of probably the more expensive options, uh, but definitely signature dining experience. You feel like you're getting the royal treatment um, and you're getting really good high quality food. Um, so I would say it's definitely worth it, but it's just definitely a splurge. So just, you know, if you're celebrating a special occasion, a birthday or anniversary like we were, so maybe that'd be a fun fun for a nice date night out or celebration mm -hmm. dinner. Definitely highly recommend it for that. So hope you guys enjoyed this dining review. We always promise to give our open and honest opinions uh, of, our, of our based on our experiences. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. That helps us out. Helps us to keep creating more videos like this. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel. We welcome you to su subscribe so you see more content like this. We've done a lot of dining reviews around Disney World. So hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.